William feels this about his younger brother, Prince Harry, highly dangerous as ever. Let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. Hope you're all keeping well. Yes, whatever you're doing today, do keep safe, do keep warm. I know I say that, but I genuinely mean that. By the way, people say to me, it's a community, it's a friendship group, there's thousands of people. You can have thousands of friends. What's wrong with that? I know a lot of people on this channel and we swap things and I like to let people know when, of course, we've seen your comments, you'll see the hearts and stuff like that. It's lovely. So thank you, thank you, thank you for getting involved so much. It truly means a lot. And it's lovely to find out bits and pieces about where you're from, you know, what you do, how you live your lives, because you see my life, don't you? <laughs> yes, I know. Warts and all, as it were, you know, standing outside in the cold and the snow. Mm. But, you know, that's truly, isn't it? It's about friendship, checking in with each other every day. So thank you, truly, from the bottom of my heart for taking the time out to do that. It is appreciated. And I do love, as I say, your comments. I love the fact that we get involved in the most weirdest of things, you know, gravy, jelly, sprinkles, ice creams. Oh, don't get me going. You could just eat an ice cream cornetto. Yes, you know the ones with the flake in. You know the ones, the double one. With the... <laughs> love those, don't you? Why I want one of those on a cold day like today? No idea. Back as ever to your breaking Ross story of the day. You can understand this really, can't you, if you're the Prince and Princess of Wales. There you are doing your sterling work, you know, and you're trying your very best to make sure that everything rolls on the royal bandwagon. Turning up at events, being polite, meeting and greeting people, and the headlines in the mainstream media are stolen by certain people who clearly do not wish to be part of the British monarchy, but like everything associated with it. I mean, when you think about it, you know, Prince Harry claimed he was trapped and he escaped, but how has he escaped if he's using titles and monetizing every single thing regarding his ex-family? Where does that truly fit in? It's just ridiculous, isn't it, when you think about it? Now, the bottom line is this, that according to a very good source, and as one can imagine, we now believe, according to the mainstream media, and we've checked this with Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace, and they're making no official comment at this stage, but apparently they're looking towards the fact that Harry and Meghan may return for the coronation you know i would just draw a line under it if i was them you either give me a date and a time at this point or you're out make an official agreement because obviously you know the more it goes around the more they can monetize it as we saw with megan gleefully meeting pals at melrose you saw that and then popping in to see a homeless shelter lovely when you think about it restaurant expensive lunch and then all oh, popping to see the little people all while the paparazzi are making sure they've doctored that visit you get the picture. But on the bigger story now, William himself, according to that good source, thinks that Prince Harry is highly dangerous and damaging towards the monarchy, as you can imagine, simply because his return, you know, they do not know what he's going to say. As we saw in that recent visit or that recent live stream, should I say, with the uh, Gabor mate or whatever, this quacky doctor that he sat down with who diagnosed him allegedly on air. The bottom line is this, Harry's willing to do and say anything in order to remain in the headlines. And, you know, as he often said, and he openly said in that live stream, he wishes other members of the British monarchy would have therapy, then they'd all understand each other. They do. It's called English and they use that as a language, Harry. Why do we need therapy speak? You see the problem. So for now, this is the big dividing factor, and this is the big hope, according to a very good source, out at Montecito, that the ex royals would hope to do, create a line and divide between the king and his eldest son, Prince William, because while King Charles is trying to play peacemaker, William himself feels that Harry, along with Meghan and their two children, should be made to, shall we say, relax themselves back in Montecito, look at what they've done, try and take it in, not stoke the fire of another return, that seemingly King Charles has another idea. As one source pointed out to me, the Queen would have dealt with this far more swiftly, as we saw with the stripping of titles of both Prince Andrew and the Duke of Sussex. Seemingly, King Charles wants to do things his own way, a poor, possibly more democratic way, but the bottom line is it's not playing too well over here with the British public, and more importantly, with Prince William alongside the Princess of Wales. As I said, someone told me very close to the prince that he believes that his youngest brother, Prince Harry, is highly dangerous indeed. What a statement to say about a member of your own family. Neil Sean in the very heart of the United Kingdom.